when you're making a human body, your human body changes a lot. But every day I wake up and there are more and more shades of colors streamlining their way through my body. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe you're watching this, your wife is pregnant, your sister's pregnant, maybe you're currently pregnant, maybe you're trying to get pregnant, maybe you never want to get pregnant and you're just curious and you want to see the nitty gritty of what has changed in my body. I am currently 27 weeks pregnant, which means this is the last week of my second trimester. I'm sure more changes will happen in the third trimester. If you guys want to follow up of like after I give birth, everything that has changed in my body after having a baby, <laughs> then like this video so I know that you guys want to see that in the future. But for now, I have a huge list of things that I was expecting and was not expecting to change in my body already. The number one thing that has changed, and I did not fully expect it, I did have a little bit of inkling, but it's weird to see on your own body, but veins. If you ever needed to figure out if you were a spring, summer, fall, winter, warm or cool toned, but you couldn't quite tell, just get pregnant because your veins will be very obvious. I first started noticing the veins on my boobs, but as my stomach grew, like my boobs, I have very visual, almost like zombie sci-fi looking veins. But this is a visual side effect from something very important and very necessary going on in your body during pregnancy. You just have like three times the amount of blood. But yeah, it's been really unusual an experience to look in the mirror every day and see more and more colors happening. Number two, and this is something that I knew about but I didn't think I was gonna get because my mom didn't have it, but it is the Linea Nigra. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but it is just the line that goes from your belly button, maybe it can extend up, and then it extends all the way down. I can show you, but for obvious reasons, I can't show you the depths that it reaches. I'll probably get flagged, but it does go further than I thought it was going to go. This is a hormone baseline. Some people get it, some people don't. It doesn't mean your pregnancy is more healthy than one, than the other. Number three, and this is gonna be something that I also cannot show you for obvious reasons, but your nipples change, <laughs> surprise. I feel like most people know your body is preparing to uh, produce milk. And if you don't know, your baby or all babies have trouble seeing when they're first born. They see mostly in contrast, things are especially blurry in the early days, and so your body prepares for that and darkens them. They also get bigger, they get bigger and darker. Uh, I can't show you the before and after, but it is, it is noticeable. So whether you decide to breastfeed or not, you can expect some nipple changes during pregnancy. Number four, and something I wasn't expecting, I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but I have received a lot of new and darker freckles. I've heard of hyperpigmentation, but this isn't like discoloration on my face or neck. It is, and I don't know if it's because I'm German. My aunt has this, where she developed like moles, freckles, raised surfaces, like where she wears necklaces. And it's odd because the new ones seem to be raised in comparison to any freckles I've had in the past. Will they last after pregnancy? Will I continue to get more? I really haven't heard anyone talking about getting a bunch of new little tiny raised freckle moles. Number five, and I'm sure this goes along with my new blood volume, but almost like rosacea like cheeks and broken blood vessels in my face. I notice it most right when I wake up and it's usually the cheek that I sleep in, but it's almost like I have so much blood that it pulled in my cheek and then the pressure of me sleeping bruised it. And then around my nose, broken blood vessels, usually on the side that I favor to sleep on, which is my left side. I had to write to, to just figure out my right from left. That's pregnancy brain. Number six, and I feel like this one is a little bit obvious. I feel like the two things people hear when someone gets pregnant 
is O, oh, stretch marks, and cellulite. I have yet to get stretch marks, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to get them. I feel like third trimester, we'll see. But I do have cellulite on my butt. It's gonna probably be hard to show. I didn't gain too much weight in the first two months, but in the past five months, I've probably gained about 30 pounds, and that has to go somewhere. It decided to go to my boobs, baby, butt, and thighs, and I'm fine with it. My body is growing life. I have had some not so nice messages to say to a pregnant person being sent to me about my weight, but you know, when someone says something to you like that, that is on them, and that has very little to do with you, because a happy person doesn't bring anyone else down. So I hope this person finds some happiness. Number seven, I thought I would pop in a happy one for you guys. I have been experiencing clear skin. Yes, I have like rosacea and dry skin and broken vessels, but I have had little to no acne throughout my pregnancy. I did experience a definite transition in the beginning, but for the most part, clear skin. Everyone's experience with how their skin reacts to pregnancy will be totally different. So if you are breaking out, don't feel bad. Your body's doing amazing things right now. Keep it up. Number eight, I have been able to finally stop washing my hair all the time because it is so freaking dry. That I view as a positive. It's nice to give my hair a break and be lazy and just let it be dry. But I have been suffering with the dry skin. And it is not a hydration issue. I drink so much water, pretty much only water, and uh, I pee every five minutes. Everything is dry all the time. I thought I was just gonna have to up my lotion and oil game on my stomach, but I find myself now I'm just drenching my entire body. I could dip myself in butter and I would still be dry. <laughs> Number nine, and this one freaked my friend out. And it was also something I didn't know about, but I started to grow more hair on my stomach. The hair on my stomach is like blonde, almost invisible. Like for some reason I have dark hair on my arms and legs, but for some reason my stomach caught a break. It is like invisible, but it got twice or three times as long but it also stood up straight. So even though it was invisible, the fact that it was standing up so straight and that it was long, just like all in my stomach, plus your stomach is growing out, I was just like, I'm gonna shave it. Of course, body hair, that is your personal preference. Whatever you do, you shave or don't shave, do you. I grew up with a mom who was a bodybuilder, so she shaved her entire body. I wanted to be like her from a very young age. I shaved like pretty much my entire body. Literally one of my favorite feelings in the world is to be freshly shaven, lotioned, and then get into a clean bed. <gasps> so you have to just take my word for it. I can't show you because I shaved that off. Number 10, and if you watch my video for a while, then you know how I feel about the belly button. I feel like it is the nipple of the stomach. My belly button has always kind of teetered on is it an innie or is it an outie? It couldn't really decide. Pregnancy has decided for her. I've always been a little bit self-conscious of my belly button just because I didn't know if it was an innie or an outie. And now that I'm pregnant, I kind of just like don't really give a shit anymore, <laughs> which is kind of a beautiful thing. Some people's belly buttons go back to normal afterwards, how it was before. And some people, they get a new belly button. So we'll see what happens. Number uh, 11, I'm out of fingers. I thought I had escaped this one. My mom suffered with pregnancy gingivitis. So I've been super on top of my dental hygiene with brushing, with flossing, with mouthwash. I've also been going to my dentist every four months and getting a clean. Everything looked good two weeks ago. As of three days ago, my gums severely bleeding. Let me tell you, it does not matter. I mean, it does matter how you take care of your teeth, but some people are just going to be destined because I took really good care. And number 12, kind of, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's definitely something that changed. I've never been someone with acid reflex or someone to burp, and now I am definitely 
I'm definitely that. That wasn't even on my list, but I'm I'm happy to add it. At first, I was getting acid reflux just from like eating the things I'm not supposed to, like maybe a tomato sauce or orange juice, uh, something acidic. But now I'll eat a bagel, a saltine cracker, and up it comes like fire and fun. And the cure for this is having a baby. So hopefully I'll be cured in three months. Wait, two months. Oh my god, I'm over. Ah, where's the time going? <laughs> Wait, how am I seven months pregnant when I have, when I'm 28 weeks? But then I have three more months. Do I not? I still have April, May, and June. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, we have this thing in my family where all the women give birth um, a month to two months early. Uh, we're not planning on that. We're planning on going full term. Uh, I'm not ready to have a baby in quarantine. <laughs> but as of now, my due date is July 1st. My mom thinks I'm gonna give birth on June 1st. Let me know in the comments down below on what your guess is for the arrival of baby. Let me know if any of these shocked you or if you knew all of these. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>